the likely dates of any Trump attack on North Korea, January 15th or October 15th. Thinking how Trump thinks, he will likely attack North Korea in either mid-January, far enough from the November elections so that he has a chance to recover from any catastrophe or as an October surprise. If he is about to lose Congress, what does he have to lose? Anticipating this, it is surprising activists aren't in the streets preemptively protesting the attack being considered, which would trigger a retaliatory missile strike from the DPRK that would, at the very least, evaporate Seoul, or, at worst, cost us an American city, probably Washington, D.C. Tens of millions dead on the horizon. The human mind cannot grasp such a holocaust, so let us just focus on Lewis Creek Espinus, its dimensions and what he once did with it. That is the sort of thing the human mind can handle. Here is hoping the winds blow the radiation cloud east, over the Atlantic, instead of into population centers. Radiation sickness is a bitch, and there are not enough hospitals or doctors in the Middle Atlantic region to help even a small percentage of the sick if DC were hit. But let us get back to real news. Was Smoochy as Smooch consensual or not? James Madison H.R. McMaster, cheered on by Mike Pompeo and Senator Lindsey Graham, are talking themselves into believing a hit on North Korea is doable. They reward gaming a so-called bloody nose strategy. They are about to make the biggest mistake in American history. If it goes south, I can hear their spin, it is Obama's fault.